We are blessed with some unbelievable weather today, which we always hope for. This should make for an incredible cleanup uh, of the Fern Creek area. We're gonna get some t-shirts and some breakfast, and then we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna work for a couple more hours. The annual spring cleanup, what a great time of year. I've been doing this for many years. You got them together. It's Saturday morning. My gosh, you're listening. When you get across the way, you're going to see more supplies, more gloves, more bags. Grab a couple so you'll have what you need. What an unbelievable showing here. It's incredible. Walk across the street. It's always fulfilling the next day after a cleanup to drive Bartstown Road. They constantly pick up trash. It's good community citizenship. Sharp class, you're over here. Thank you very much for coming out. I'm Councilman Robin Engel. Front Creek Chamber is partnering and the high school for a annual cleanup here. And thank you very much for coming out. We really appreciate that. You've exceeded our expectations. Unfortunately, we ran out of food, but we have donuts on the way. That's a good problem to have. Thank you. We are cleaning up the entire Fern Creek. We will go all the way up and down the Bardstown Road corridor, picking up trash. What's over there? Come on. Now get it right back, Tay. Yeah. Many of you all have the instructions from your teachers to stay close to the high school. Oh, no, that's glad. Please be careful. Don't mess with that. That's dangerous. Derby is just around the corner. I wish it was clean all year round, but this is a great opportunity yeah. for your input and your participation. Plastic out here. Over the years, Fern Creek High School has been an unbelievable partner. It's great to get so many different types of people involved in a cleanup. Awesome, awesome. This would be my final bright side cleanup as I... Good luck, everybody. We'll be here for all, all morning. Wrap up my term in December uh, and be moving on. But it has been wonderful, it's, and I will be keeping an eye on how this event goes in the future. I want to thank everybody over the years for coming out for this. <laughs> Today is opening day of Miracle League of Louisville. All right! Doesn't get any better than this. My name is Reese and I'm eight years old. And I play baseball. Now batting for the Cubs, Miles Bustle. Oh, wow. Miracle League of Louisville gets kids of all walks of life with every type of challenge you can imagine, an opportunity to play baseball in a fun, safe environment. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They saw the need, that special needs children that could not play regular Babe Ruth. And so they wanted to make a difference and boy, they surely did. The environment here, it's, it's amazing. They build up everybody. It's not just one team against the other. They're, everybody cheers for everybody. Oh yeah! My job is pitching for athletics. I like helping them with the school board and the mic, and I like playing. If you've never seen a Miracle League game, you can't help but be happy out here watching the sheer joy that these athletes have. Go Warriors! My son plays for the Orioles in the Miracle League of Louisville. He really enjoys it. They're just very supportive, very inclusive for anybody, and we just love it. We've been to several other ones, and this one is our favorite by far. There's no better way to give your time, your talents, or your money uh, hey, sit out there. than to show up here. And I guarantee you, when you leave here after watching one or two of these games, you'll leave a lot more fulfilled than when you came. It's an incredible bunch of kids, an incredible, incredible organization. All right. Give me five. All right. Good job. This is our largest season yet. We have 12 teams, um, 143 individuals signed up to play ball this season. One of the most fulfilling things we've done in office, really. Thank you, man. See you next week, bud. Is participate with the Miracle League to get this facility up and running. So many great partners. A lot of these kids have a lot of challenges and disadvantages that uh, other kids don't. This kind of levels the playing field, no pun intended. And this field is user-friendly safe. It's pebble flex, so if you fall, you're much less likely uh, to have an injury or break a bone. Uh, and it gives them an opportunity to do something that other little boys and little girls do every Saturday that maybe sometimes they take for granted, but these kids don't, I can tell you. They look forward to it. I don't think there's anything that mirrors this 
level of quality. Can you imagine being a parent of one of your children that's on the scoreboard, a baseball scoreboard? A lot of fundraising, a lot of logistics with the city, but you can see from this incredible field and playground, the results of a lot of hardworking people's efforts. We're one sort of one piece away from finishing this whole project, and that's the splash pad out in sort of center field. And once that's done, this is just a park for literally everyone. I like to come out and hit, I like to catch because that's what I'm good at. Some of our players have buddies that sign up and request to be their specific buddy. Sometimes it might be a family member or a family friend, but a lot of our athletes still need buddies because they don't have somebody because their parents want to watch just like an, any other parent wants to watch their child play ball and not have to be out there on the field with them. So we have volunteer groups that come each week. Give me some. A lot of the peers that come and help, they're great with them. Uh, I never expected the teenagers to be as good as they are with them, and they really are. Come out here, grab you a cup of coffee, come to a game and watch this interaction and watch the excitement uh, that these kids have every Saturday, and uh, you'll be changed. You'll be changed. Good job, Addy! It's an amazing feeling being out here, getting to watch them play the sport. It's just an incredible organization. I look forward to coming out here every Saturday. I really do. I sometimes come home and tell the wife, I think I got more out of it and had more fun than the kids did today. We take volunteers all the time because we can never have enough people out here volunteering with Miracle League of Louisville. Two great events in our community, uh, sort of to wrap up my, my 21 years in office. and. Uh, what a pleasure it's been, and, and this, this is, is the big prize is the Miracle League.